Now this is one of the formulas where you take your poundage and divide it in half. It has a lot to do with are you on certain medication, what's your diet like, how do you exercise, what climate, do you work in a really hot garage all day. I mean, I talk to mechanics that tell me they drink over two gallons of water a day because they're, they're in a hot environment. Now here's something that I more or less came up with myself and that is I piece some information together. And if you understand that when you're chronically dehydrated, your body takes that as a, as a stressor. I mean, if you hold your breath, your body gets real concerned about that, about, you know, I need to breathe again. But we take dehydration for granted, just walking around in a dehydrated state. Your body doesn't take it for granted. It, it interprets this, it, it stresses out what's known as your sympathetic nervous system, and you go into a fight or flight mode when you're dehydrated. And you do not want to be walking around in a chronic fight or flight mode. What does this do? This produces stress hormones. Anyone here know a stress hormone that gets a lot of talk? Cortisol. What do we know about cortisol? Cortisol, you, you hear a lot about cortisol in terms of having problems losing weight in certain areas of your body, around your abdomen. People here heard, heard of this in reference to cortisol? Well, how would you like to be walking around in a chronic state of stress, stressing out your adrenal glands to produce these hormones like cortisol all over the fact that you're dehydrated? I don't want to do that. I'll let life stress me out, but I'm not, I'm not going to do it over because I haven't had water. So the whole point is, please, drink more water. We feel we've got the best water. But please, drink more water. Thank you. Sure, sure. Any questions? If you drink too much water, you can flush out the minerals um, of the body. Does that mean you have to replace the minerals that you're flushing out? Or is that not true? Well, that would be if you were drinking mineral-less water. But I have issues with the theory of that in the first place. And yes, there are people in recorded history in medical literature, there's one or two, that drank themselves to death. That's correct. But that would be if you were drinking distilled water, RO water. But this water has minerals in it. Okay, enough to replace I mean, you know, what you're flushing. You're not flushing. I don't okay. buy into the concept that yeah. you're drinking too much. Oh, okay. I, I mean, if you, if you have the symptoms that you need to drink water, if you're talking about doing something completely unnatural, that you absolutely have no signs of dehydration, and you just you wake up one morning and, and, and as the day goes on, you drink a little bit of water, you, you, you have some food, you're not in a dehydrated state, and then for some reason you go, you know what, I'm going to drink five gallons of water. Uh, can something happen to you physiologically? You bet. No different than if I started doing this for 15 minutes. <laughs> But what, what does that have to do with anything? Nothing, nothing. These are, these are aberrant behaviors that, in my opinion, are drug up by the naysayers that don't want you to be healthy, to be your best, OK? You have to listen to your body and drink water till you feel satiated. You don't want to drink more than you need, but if it's, if it's this water, you're not going to flush away anything other than toxins out of your body. And by the way, I think that's why a lot of people are really toxic.
because they're not facilitating the natural ability of your body to rid yourself of these poisons. You don't sweat, you don't drink enough water, you're not, you're not helping your body detoxify. Any other questions? Yeah. Could you address drinking water during a meal or before or after in relation to it? The enzymes from digesting your food? I thought I did, but I'll, I'll, I'll repeat it. Okay. The, the, the Chinese got it right. You, you don't want to sit down in a dehydrated state at a meal because you want to be able to secrete your enzymes in your hydrochloric acid. Mm -hmm. So they will drink tea for like a half an hour or so before and then eat. Europeans also embrace the concept of just having some wine or something just to clear the palate, but not to dilute the stomach and make soup. We, uh, I can remember as a child, uh, we were all influenced by the so-called, uh, what I call the, the, the agribusiness pyramid. And there was, you know, we drank milk at the dinner table, right. which diluted everything out. I believe you should sit down to a meal in a hydrated state. You should just have enough liquid at the meal to clear your palate, and probably not a good idea to drink a lot of uh, fluids for maybe at least a half hour after, after you've eaten. Okay, thank you. Sure. Anything else? Anything at all? Okay, thank you.